Hello, 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 hello! We're back at it, guys. Let's get things underway. So let's get over there to that. And also, for those that haven't seen him, there's our beautiful Great One Moose that we've got on the map right now. We are trying to get a whitetail on the map at the exact same time so we can take them both out in consecutive order. So that is our beautiful Great One Moose. He has yet to be added to the Great One counter because we have not killed him. So this is technically Great One 53. But uh, yeah, it's time to go hunt some whitetail deer now and try to get a whitetail Great One on the map. Then once we get it on the map, it'll be time for the, uh, for the end of the seven day moose video. Once we get this whitetail, I'll finally be able to complete that video and uh, get it edited and everything gonna be fun I'm super excited for this I hope we can accomplish it I think we should be able to no problem oh gosh the moose are still leaving because I was at moose time and the whitetail are coming in there we go first whitetail kill of the day Nice, dynamic, nice. How's it going, Caitlin? 250 Cal, Modern Outdoorsman, Shores, Necromancer. We got Jason, Mr. Man, Eli, Tang, Hunter, A-Rod, Max, Cody, Lil Dash. We got Hunting Gods. We got Eli. We got Braden. We got Caleb. Amanda, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. Welcome to everybody that stopped by the stream today. Also, I'm kind of uh, blown away at how well this morning's video is doing. I did not expect it to be doing so well, especially since I didn't actually kill the great one in it. But you guys seem to be absolutely loving it, so thank you all so much for all of the support. You guys are incredible. I saw that, Johnny. I saw your uh, the message that you had posted about that. That's crazy. Hey, Nox, it's going good. It's going really good. Oh, you silly whitetail. Can we catch up to him? There we go. We have a release date for Spain. Not yet, no. All we know is that it will likely be before the end of the month based on Jaxie saying that there would be a Halloween update before the end of the month and he also, or not before the end of the month, but in the next update. And he also said the map's in the next update in a different sentence. So to put two and two together, it looks like, it looks like we're getting it before the end of the month. Ooh, look at that level three. That's a good looking three. We got two males there. That three's looking nice. Nice. We got them both. And that brings us to 350 kills on the whitetail grind. Hopefully, we can get him to show soon. 264. That's a dime. First diamond of the day. Love to see it. Kind of a wonky one, too. Kind of a little wonky feller. Uh, we will kill the moose whenever we get a whitetail on the map as well. And it's likely that if we get the whitetail to spawn, I'll probably end the stream and get the video recording done because I want to do it as part of a video. So it's likely you will not see me kill them on stream. Um, if we do get the whitetail to spawn, I'm going to kill it for the video. Because uh, I, this video is going to be a pretty special one. I want the video to be the first time that you guys get to see it. Like in its final edited form. Oh, Alright, we got another big boy three. Nice to see some larger threes because we really hadn't had too many good sized threes. A lot of them were just small diamonds, but we're actually getting some big boys now. Uh, the stream is not lagging for those that are saying it is. You might want to change the settings that you're watching at because 
I am not lagging. That is probably on your end. Boom. Diamond Whitetail number two of the day. This Whitetail grind is mega cracked. Can I do a Whitetail guide? I've already got one, actually. If you check out the Herd Management Guides playlist, it's in there. It'll be the only Whitetail video in that playlist. Nothing there. Thank you, Mink. Hopefully we end up getting some good Whitetail trophies today. And hopefully, just maybe, we get that great one. That'd be incredible. Two more down. Nightbot broke right now. Might be. Yeah, might be. What do I want the next map to be in Call of the Wild? I would say I'd like to see Africa too. I don't know if we'll get that though. It's hard to say. I'd like to see Africa too, but I feel like they'll do something different. Uh, we don't know yet, Jason. They haven't really announced anything in terms of like the sizes of the repeated species. Nice two there. Baseball guy, thank you for the $10, dude. Really appreciate it. Spine the next diamond. Wow. See, I, I I make it a thing to never purposely never purposely mess up diamonds because uh, some people in the community get quite mad when you do stuff like that. So I try to avoid it. But you can almost guarantee I will accidentally mess up one by spine shotting it at some point today, probably. I'd say there's a very high chance it will happen, even if I'm not attempting it. Thank you so much for the super chat, though, dude. I really appreciate that. Do you think they'll add a Swedish map? I don't know. I don't think so. We already have, like, a Finland map, which is very similar to what a Swedish map could give us. Well, I don't know if they would actually do, like, a separate, like, Swedish map. It could be kind of interesting, though, if they did. There we go. What is my favorite trophy? Probably my diamond albino red deer that I got off of Emerald Coast. I'd say that's got to be my favorite. It's just such a stunning trophy. And it just looks so incredible. It's something I had always wanted. What map am I playing on right now? This is Leighton Lake District. Okay, there's two we can shoot. Your no tent grind is, uh... Your no tent grind is at 100 kills. Getting tents this week. Nice, dude. Where'd they go? There they are. Oh, now. <laughs> oh, it's the end of their drink time. That's what happened. I must have misclicked and accidentally went to 12 something. Feels bad, man. Yes, we are heard managing. I shot the level one because it's in a main zone. That is a misconception with HM, is that you never kill level 1s, but you do if they end up in your good zones. If they end up getting in your good zones, then they're taking up one of your respawns that you could be shooting to get, you know, respawns from, to grind for the great one. You only leave ones if they're in a exterior zone. You don't do it if it's in a main zone. Hey, Crazy Gamer, how's it going, man? Hey, Liam. Uh, 
Yeah, that's right. I gotta go back. It's at 12.20 because I misclicked. <laughs> There we go. Uh, the moose is a fabled oak. Nice, got both of them. Bear, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Look up to you and support you. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that, man. I hope you've been having an awesome time watching the stream today. Nice, Metal Man. Nice. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. Been thinking a lot about how a boar or fox might be a good bet for a new great one. Because it will give Hirsch a third great one. And a predator non-antlered great one like Leighton has two antlered and one non. Yeah, that's what I've been kind of thinking as well. I think boar is the most likely out of those. Because it's been highly requested. Like, not necessarily to the extent of like moose or elk or something like that, but... It's definitely been highly requested throughout the years. Like, it's a consistent request. Missed a big rig in the building. How's it going, Nate? Hope you're doing good. I know it's probably difficult for you to watch Whitetail after how your grind has been. <laughs> but I applaud you for showing up to the Whitetail stream. Oh no, Easton, that's rough, man. I'm sorry to hear that. It happens, though. We all mess trophies up. I've messed up plenty myself. Doing decent white tail PTSD for sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Glad you're doing good though. Nothing. Wow. So rude. How many times so far? Uh, two of them a day. 17 in total in the grind. Once again, nothing there. Dingle boy, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. What are my thoughts on a great one, Road Deer? Uh, if they're gonna, if they would do, if they want to do something from Hirschfeld again, Road Deer would be my number one pick. Because I feel like it's likely they're gonna do something from Hirschfeld to get that map up to three great ones, just like Layton. So I would probably pick a Road Deer out of all the remaining species that are on Hirsch that don't have one. <laughs> I definitely think Roe Deer would be cool. Man, nothing. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to main menu and then go back to the first zone and do this run again and see if we got the respawns. Justin, welcome back, man. Thank you for the 10 months. Holy... Welcome back, dude. Hey, Alien Hunter. Hey, Mr. Brown. RG. Micah, how's everybody... How's everybody doing? Hopefully you're all doing great. Okay, we got both of those. Come on. They are not going to give me an easy shot. I can already tell. They're moving and the one is just hiding behind the female. Got 
got him. Nice. Love to see it. Have you thought that having too good of a grinding setup, meaning killing too many per hour, could have a bad effect on spawning Great One? Mine wasn't so effective, had to change lakes, but got three Great One in 1.5k kills. I don't think it has an effect, no. Because... I've always tried to kill as many as I could as fast as possible, no matter what grind I'm doing, and... We've had phenomenal luck with Fallow Deer, we've had phenomenal luck with the Moose. And I've had really consistently good luck with the whitetail as well, and I've always killed them super quickly. So I don't think it affects them, no. Rantic, how's it going, man? It's good to see ya. Hope you're doing good, man. Holy Justin with the 10. Thank you so much, man. How was your summer? You and the fam getting to anything cool? Uh, it was fun. It was, it's was. it been a fun summer. We didn't really get to do too much. We had a few days where we went... Uh, where we uh, went fishing and stuff like that, but... Nothing too, too crazy. Uh, just a lot of the usual stuff. A lot of uh, working on content. But yeah, we did get to take a few little... A uh, few little breaks for things. Like, there was a couple times where my uh, brother or sister came over and spent some time hanging out and stuff like that. Nothing there again. Okay, we got weird stuff going on with the respawns. Really weird stuff. Have we got that moose yet? Yes, we got the moose to spawn two days ago. Now we're just waiting for a whitetail to spawn so that we can get both of them on the map at the same time. That's the goal for today is get a whitetail. <laughs> What time does Tackle Tuesday usually start? 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on every Tuesday. Shot my stack, level 9 red deer. Nice, Liam. Hopefully you got a bunch of them to uh, score a diamond. There's some more whitetail bucks over there. Oh, didn't kill him. Stupid tree. <laughs> the tree's blocking our shots, man. You can customize them with the skins that are in game, uh, Blake. You can customize the tents as well as the ground blinds and all of your rifles and handguns and stuff. By using the different uh, skins that they have via skin packs or... A few that are the base game ones. Lots of customizability. Yeah, Zachy, did you not know that you can customize the ground blinds? Not the waterfowl ones, but the other one. The, like, regular ground blind. I'll show you. There we go. So here is a ground blind. If it'll finish checking installed content. Come on, Call the Wild. Yep, take your time. Okay, take your time. Any minute now. Can I just back out? No? No? Hello? <laughs> yep, I gotta wait now. Well, this is fun. This is all your fault, Zacky. You're the one that didn't know it existed. Oh no, ghost. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Does the don't shoot a zone down to one animal rule when doing HM also count in terms of males? Got a zone with just two bull elk, 
Wondering if I can shoot them without messing up the group. No, if you shoot one of them, uh, they're not going to come back. Either way, because if you see two bull elk side by side, there's two things. It could be a group of two or two solos. And either way, the respawn likely won't come back there. All right, well, I got an alt F4, so that's fun. Relaunching the game. Thank you, Briar. I appreciate that. Always happy to help. What am I looking at? You're looking at the, uh, the, the checking for DLC page or whatever that was to make sure that I owned the skins. Okay, take two. <laughs> Let's wait for everything to load, just to be sure. All right. Press C. Ain't no way. Let me look. Is Steam down or something? No. Okay, so don't... Don't try to skin the blinds. Apparently it's broken. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. It is what it is. Guess we're not going to show it off. Been a while since I've been on. How you been? I've been doing good, Piggy Wowness. I've been doing good, man. I hope you have too. Yeah, thanks, Zacky. Gosh, wanting to see the blinds. Jeez. How dare you? <laughs> Now, hopefully I can show you with the tent, though. Because there was a couple people asking how to get the tent to be uh, different colors. You just hover over whichever tent you want. And if you look in the bottom right, there'll be a button that says customize. Just press that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so it's not the... <sighs> it's not the... Uh... It's not the blinds. It's the game is having trouble right now. So I think Steam is having issues then. Because it's essentially checking to make sure... It's checking like which skins you own. So yeah, it's a Steam issue. I think Steam is down at the moment. I'll be honest, Grim. I don't really care, man. I don't really care who has how many subscribers or how many I have. It's not what's important at the end of the day. What's important is that we're all having fun and that we're enjoying what we do and that you guys are enjoying the content. That's what really matters. All right. Back to back to smoking whitetail. Guess I'm not going to get to show off the skins like you uh like you guys wanted. Feels bad, man. Oh well, it is what it is. Can't have everything in life, I guess. Is a level 3 white tailed deer always a diamond? No, it's not guaranteed to be a diamond. Um, Most of the time it will be, but it's not guaranteed. That's a level 3. Nice, we got him. Justin, thank you so much for the super chat once again, man. Try to be as well spoken as every as Crow, everyone. Hey, I I mean I don't like to take, I don't like to take. Uh, what's the word? I suck at taking compliments. That's the best way to put it. I suck at taking compliments. But thank you so much, Justin. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's the way I was raised. To always be like, to try and always be humble with everything. And I just, I don't know. I feel weird whenever I get praised or complimented. I just sometimes don't know how to respond to it. Aside from just saying thank you. Thank you very much. J6, thank you for the two months, man. And Zachy, thank you for the eight months. 
264 basket rack. Let's go. Diamond Whitetail. Welcome back, Eric. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Hey, OT. What's my favorite rare fur type? Uh, it depends on the species, honestly. I feel like... If I could only pick one rare out of every rare in the game to be my favorite, it's the Leucistic Rusidir. It is so amazing looking. It is so beautiful. The coolest thing in the game in terms of like rare fur types, not counting like the great one fur types, obviously. What is my favorite great one and its variant? My favorite great one is the moose. And if I could pick one variation from it, it would be the Fabled Birch with the typical rack. This looks so good. Oh, you love to see it. Three Whitetail crumpling downrange. Sometimes thank you is all the response you need to give. Yeah, true, true. Oh, what the? What? Uh, um... There's a fourth buck here? What? How did I not see him? How did I not see that deer? Guys, am I blind? Like, was that deer there? Or was he not showing up? I guess he could have just rendered in. Bro spawned in literally. That's what I'm saying. I did not see that deer. What do these tracks say right here? Six. Wow. So it was a herd of six that time. I never have six there. That's crazy. Usually it's a herd of five. Sometimes even four, depending on the run. That's wild. Do you think they'll add Christmas skins? I feel like they have to. I mean, they've done Easter skins. They did a midsummer pack. I think they've got to do like either Halloween, Thanksgiving, or Christmas. They got to do at least one of those. Hopefully all three. That'd be crazy. That's a two, but it's really wide. I think he might make it. Nice, got them both. 381 kills. What rack did the albino great one have? What do you mean? I've never killed an albino great one. I've killed a diamond white tail though. Where'd this guy go? Um... Oh, there he is. There he is. Bears on late next. Not a chance, man. Not a chance. I don't hate myself, so I'm not going to hunt bears on Leighton. I'll show you why. You see all this water on Leighton Lakes? You see how there's this coastline here? There's this coastline here. There's all these rivers and all these ponds and lakes. Bears drink at all of them. Even the shoreline. Even the coastline. They drink everywhere. The bears literally can drink everywhere on this map. So I, I will never grind bears on Layton. I will never grind bears on Layton. I mean, I struggle enough on Silver Ridge. Oh, we got him. Nice. I didn't think that would actually hit, but I'll take it. Johnny, what's up? Oh, the only albino great one ever? Yeah, it was drop time rack. The one that uh, LC got. It was a drop time rack, which is an amazing rack to get with it. Like that is literally like a dream great one for many, many people. Yeah, I thought I had seen you already, Johnny, but then you were like, Nate, and Nate had been here. So I was like, did Johnny just show up? Yeah, he must have just shown up. Hey, big man, how's it going? Oh, TTK coming in hot. <laughs> how's it going, TTK? I see you lurking. I see you lurking. 
What's my favorite animal to hunt? It's between fallow and whitetail and roosa deer. Like all three of those I really have a lot of fun with. Uh, yeah, that's that's by design, uh, Cats in the Wild. They've said that they want to do base game species. At least for a while. Eventually, they'll have to branch out, but for now, they're doing base game ones. And it's very likely the next one will be on Hirschfelden, because Hirsch has two great ones, Leighton has three. So I would imagine they're going to try and even it out. So I got a feeling it's going to be something like... Probably wild boar or fox, potentially roe deer. Oh, no worries, CTK. No worries. No worries. Hope you've been doing good. No, RG. We didn't get the great one, Black Bear. We didn't get a second one, at least. If you're talking about the first, we did eventually get the first one, but we're like almost 4,000 kills into the second grind, and he still has not shown up. Which is quite sad, man. It's quite sad, but it is what it is. It happens. I just don't have the luck with bears, apparently. It's crazy to think that, like, with both fallow deer and moose, I regularly get sub-500 kill great ones. But then I go over to bears, and I can't get a grind to be short. 8,300 kills on the first, and we're already 36 or 3,700 into the second grind. Feel like I, I've used all my luck on other species, so I just don't get it with the bears. Do you think they'll do small game great ones? Maybe. I think eventually they'll do at least one of them. Just to see what the reception is like. Because that's one of those great ones where it's probably not going to be as popular with a lot of people as something like a moose or a whitetail. Or, you know, one of the more known big game species. They seem to be more popular requests for uh, great ones. But one of these days they'll have to do a small game animal just to test it out. What combo is on the map? It's a fabled oak with the spider rack. Yeah, the level 2 does have a pretty good chance of making it. Hey, he made it. Let's go! Do you think they'll ever do a UK map? Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, yeah, Johnny, I can check. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I think there's only one way to do it, though. One second. So I have to remove you and then add you again. There. There we go. You should be good now, Johnny. Doin, what's up? What am I most excited for? Or what fish am I most excited for with the Spain map? I would have to say either common carp or the eels. They both look really crazy. Maybe the mirrors. The mirror carp look kind of cool too. But we'll have to see uh, how much fun they are to fish for. That's what uh, that's what we'll ultimately decide is how much fun I have when we're actually going after them. I'm so excited. They need to hurry up and drop that map. Or like an early access or something so I can play it. I am just dying to get on there. How to get the shiny blue on your gun? So that was a part of a skin pack that they had out for a little bit. It was a limited time one, so it's no longer available. But it was from the midsummer. Uh, weapon pack, or not weapon pack, Midsummer skin pack. It was a free one that you could get. 
for just having an Apex Connect account. Unfortunately, it's not available anymore. Ooh, he didn't quite make it. He looked like he would, but he didn't quite. Nice, Marble, nice. Love to see it, dude. What do you think about adding squirrels and tree dogs? Squirrels, for sure. I would love to see squirrels. I don't know. I don't know how tree dogs would work because I feel like that's a, a mechanic they wouldn't be able to get in the game very easily, like having stuff be in trees. And I mean, what would you use a tree dog for if you can't, like, tree animals? Okay, so we had a three here. Oh, we have two threes here now. <laughs> Beautiful. HM popping off. Love to see it. That was bad shooting. This is very reminiscent of today's video. That aim was awful. At least I hit the ones that mattered, though. I hit the ones that actually mattered. Look at these two. What are we thinking? That's a dime. Uh, that's probably a diamond. Hey, he barely made it, but he did make it. And he made it as well. Let's go. Love to see it side by side, diamonds. Beautiful. Love to see it, man. Hopefully, we're going to be on our way to getting something crazy. Nothing over there. So I think after we finish this this uh, run right here, I'll show you guys the Great One Moose again. For those that were not in here when we showed it last. Because I'm sure some of you have not seen it and would like to. We are about to hit 400 kills on the grind. We are getting up there, man. We are getting up there. The diamonds were 0 0.1 off from each other? I did not notice that. That's crazy. Nice, Marble. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. And that's 400 kills. 400 kills into the grind. What gun would I recommend for hunting Bantang? Probably either the 300 Magnum or the 338. Uh, it kind of comes down to just like personal preference of the two. Whichever one you think you're going to like better for them. I honestly, if you have both of those guns, I would test both of them out just to see how it does on them. Okay, nothing else. Just one shootable mail. Hunting with the 300 Magnum right now, trying to get the Albino. Nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, the 300 is awesome. 300 is really good. What maps have mission animals? Let's see. We've got Medved. I'm pretty sure Leighton and Hirsch have them as well. Quattro has them. Um, Tiavaroa does. Honestly, most maps have at least one mission animal, but some of them are, like, not 
unique from others. Like some of the mission animals on some maps are just like a normal diamond or like a normal rare. Yeah, Quattro has a lot of them because of the uh, the different wolves. I think it's like the three wolves or whatever. Oh, gotcha, A-Rod. See, I think most of the different storylines do have mission animals, except some of them aren't nearly as special as others. All right, so that guy came back as a one. Gonna need to pop him. Nice. You should do a whitetail grind on Mississippi. Oh, see, I've tried that before and I did not like it at all. It was rough. It was a very rough grind. I didn't even finish it. I think I got like maybe 80 kills into it and immediately I was noticing that nothing was respawning in the spots that I killed it and I, I stopped doing the grind. I was like, nah, I'm not going to deal with this. Why can't I use the tripods? Uh, do you own the DLC? Because if you don't own the tripod DLC, then you're not going to have the tripods. New England has a mission animal. It's just a female bear, though. Wow, what a crazy mission animal. <laughs> uh, that's wild. That's such a strange mission animal. Just a female bear. Nice, dynamic, nice. We need the whitetail grind on Rancho. I saw a lot of comments uh, asking me to do Rancho. We might have to do that at some point. I cannot promise when that would be though. But I saw so many comments about it that I feel like one of these days we will have to jump into it again. I mean, I've already got three great ones on Rancho. So it's not like I need another Rancho great one. Hey, Jebba. Hope you're doing good, dude. Not showing up for Rancho Whitetail, I will not. Wow. I see how it is. I see how it is, Caitlin. What's my favorite map to hunt? Emerald Coast for sure. Fantastic map. Lots of amazing species. It's a really good looking map. Like, it's just got. Oh, dude, already! Yes! Yes! We did it! Oh my gosh! What? Let's go, guys! Let's go! Woo! Oh my gosh! 409 kills! Oh my gosh! Holy crap, it's a big rack! It's a big rack! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't think that would end that fast, man! Gosh, what am I gonna do for the rest of the seven day grind video? This ended so quickly! What? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy crap, man! Holy crap! Oh my gosh. Our luck has been cracked recently. It has been cracked recently. Ever since we ended that one month bad dry streak of no great ones, we've had so many of them showing up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this beast. Oh yeah, we do need to back up our save. Yeah, we'll back up our save real quick. Oh my gosh. We're not going to kill this stream because I want to do this for the video. I want to have it just for the video. So it'll be like the first time you guys will have seen it with all the editing and stuff. 
Oh my gosh. This is insane. Oh, I did miss a super chat. I missed a few. Holy crap. Let me let me read these super chats real quick and then, then I'll back up my game. Hey, Rod. Thank you for the super chat. Bro, what? How? Explain, please, dude. I, I just... I don't even know. <laughs> my guess is... Or your guess... I can't speak. Your guess is as good as mine. Justin, thank you for the super chat as well. Hype! Holy crap, man. Yeah. Super hype, dude. Super hype. Okay, let's uh, back up our save files now. That way, if we crash we and uh, get a corrupted game, then we won't be able to... Or then we won't lose everything. Holy crap. I can't speak straight. I didn't think that would happen this quickly. This has been a ridiculous, ridiculous week and a half. It started with the Great One Fallow showing up after 2,100 kills and ending that bad luck streak. Then we got our Red Deer after 2,500 kills two days later. And then we got the Moose to spawn two days ago. And now we just got the Whitetail to spawn. We've officially ended our bad luck streak. We have officially ended the bad luck streak. This is so nice. Holy crap, man. I have... <laughs> Guys, we have two different great ones on the map. We got this guy. And then we can... Oh. My game just minimized. And then we can go over here. Holy crap. Oh, no, I'm not shooting bears. I already told you guys. I don't hate myself, so I'm not going to hunt bears on Layton. You would only grind bears on Layton if you want to feel pain. That's, that's the only reason that you would grind them on Layton. There he is. There's our moose one. There's our moose. And then we got the whitetail that we just spawned. Holy crap. Let's freaking go. That's crazy. Well, since I'm going to be killing both of them for the video and not on live stream, what do we do for the rest of the stream, guys? Do we try to get another whitetail to spawn? Or do we go hunt bears? Do we go hunt bear on uh, Silver Ridge? What do we do? What do we even do? I didn't think he'd spawn this quick. I thought it'd still be like a couple more days at the minimum. I don't even know what to do. Because, <laughs> yeah, for those that are just jumping in the stream, if you did not hear, we aren't killing them on stream because I want to make it into a crazy video. And I can't really do what I want to do with it if I have, like, all the live stream stuff going on at the same time. So... We are going to be saving both of them, and then I'm going to kill them for the seven-day grind video. Holy crap. A-Rod, thank you so much on the uh, for the super chat. Another 100 to do bears on Layton going once. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I just can't do bears on Layton. I would hate every moment of it. <laughs> As crazy as it would be to have all three of them on the map at the same time, I just can't do it. There he is, man. That's crazy. Okay, it seems like a lot of you want to see me go for bears on, uh... Let's see. I'll, I'll ask in a poll. Let's see what you guys think. All right, the poll is up. Let me know what you guys want me to do. Holy crap. Uh oh, my chat's broken. Hold up. Hold up, the chat's broken. Did it even make the poll? <laughs> no, it didn't. Wow. It didn't make the poll. It broke. I gotta type it all out again. Wow, YouTube. Doing great, YouTube.
Come on. Okay, it put it up that time. Wait. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. The pull's up. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was so annoying. It would not put the pull up for a second. Okay. For those that have not seen it before we go to hunt whatever ends up winning, there's the great one whitetail we just got to spawn. 409 kills. Making that one of my shortest whitetail grinds ever. I think that's top five shortest whitetail grinds out of 28 of them. Crazy, man. Rusa on Layton, yes. Oh, right, yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, well, bears win, hands down. Bears win by a lot. So one last look at the whitetail great one that we just got to spawn for anybody that has not seen it yet. And then we're going to head to Silver Ridge and try to get a great one bear to spawn. Because I am saving the whitetail great one and the moose great one for a special seven day grind video that will be coming out in a few days. So stay tuned for that if you guys want to see the great ones get took down. But if we get a bear to spawn on Silver Ridge, we'll kill it today. So hopefully we can get that to spawn. Because, yeah, it looks like Bears easily wins the poll. Bears absolutely blows everything else out of the water. Let's go seal the deal on our 3,674 kill grind for Bears. <laughs> ah, why do I only have one Great One Bear in 12,000 kills? I have 11,988 kills total on Bears, and I only have one Great One. Why can't I have the luck on Bears that I do with every other Great One? I don't get it, man. What have I done wrong to not get the bear luck? I don't get it. How many bear kills now? 3,674. Gosh, man, that's crazy. I'm still just so blown away that we got him to spawn that fast. Both of those grinds were really, really short. The moose was 297. The whitetail was 409. That's crazy. That is like crazy. <laughs> Try to get a bear, great one on Layton. I, I'm assuming you weren't here when we talked about it. I am not hunting bears on Layton because I would hate myself. Like I would hate every moment of it. That's a nine. Bears can be at every body of water on Layton, including the coast on the east side of the map and the south coast and every pond, every river. So yeah, we're not going to grind for a bear on Layton. That would just be the worst grind known to man. Like, they're tolerable on Silver Ridge. But I'll be honest. I'd rather grind bears on Mississippi than Layton. And if you guys know me, you know how much I don't like grinding Mississippi. I'd rather hunt bears on Mississippi than Layton Lakes. There we go. We got a diamond already. Love to see. That's a good way to start the day. That's a good omen for the rest of the bear grind. Caitlin, thank you for the super chat. Great one, bear vibes, though I voted for Rusa. <laughs> Wait, Caitlin not voting for bears? Are you kidding me? Are you okay? Has somebody replaced you with an AI? But yeah, I was kind of, not going to lie, I was kind of hoping you guys would vote for Rusa. I like Rusa a lot. But I'm okay with bears. Because if we can manage to get this bear today as well, that would just be the most insane thing ever. Thank you once again for the super chat though, Caitlin. And Jebba coming in with the super chat as well. I voted for bears for Caitlin. Wow. You guys are, you guys are swapping and switching. Switching and swapping. Yeah, you're not wrong. I did want Rusa, but I'm okay with bears. It gives us something different than what we've been doing the last few days. Oh my gosh. What rack is the whitetail? It's a big rack, uh, Cowan. It's a big rack. I just can't believe we, we did it. We have two different species of great one on the map at the same time on Layton. Just crazy. Just crazy, man. Like, we've had multiple great ones on the map at the same time a, a couple times in the past. We stacked uh, two whitetail at once. Then we stacked 
three whitetail, I think, and then we stacked four whitetail ones. But I've never done two different species. Yeah, Aiden, we did get a whitetail to spawn, which is why we're now hunting bears. We're now hunting bears because I'm saving the whitetail and the moose for the seven day grind video that I'm going to be finishing the recording for probably within the next day or two where I'll take both of them down and then I got to edit everything together. I want to make it a high quality editing on the video because this is the first time we've ever done two different great ones on one map. Hey Rob, thank you for the super chat. I voted Rusa for nobody. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the Rusa are fun. Rusa are super cool. We got a two. We got a level two. I guess I'm going to leave that. I guess we're going to leave that too. Drastic. Thank you so much for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Willy Wonka, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Let's do a great one snowshoe hair. Could you imagine how crazy that would be to have like a great one and it's like a species that we don't already have in the game? That'd be sick. That'd be really, really sick. Would I ever try a super rare Rusa grind? Maybe. Maybe. I could see myself maybe doing that. Five and an eight. Oh, that was rough. I think we killed one of them, though. Drastic with the five gifted. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. Thank you so much for that. Congrats to Blue, Johnny, Brandon, Kraken, and CG. You all got gifted memberships. Be sure to say thank you to Drastic. That is super, super crazy. What do we got up there? I saw a bear. Oh, well. We got to find that uh, mythical. Did I even get vitals? I didn't. Are you kidding me? No way I missed on both of those. Well, they're not going to die anytime soon, so we're going to check the other zones. Feel like if you manage down the river, you'd be golden. Are you talking about for uh, Rusa? Probably. Rusa wouldn't be too tough to manage. They're in a very condensed area. Like, I could easily... Get coverage of every single Rusa zone with the tents. It would not be tough at all to grind Rusa. They're in really good spots. Oh my gosh, Cal, thank you for the uh, the five gifted as well. Congrats to Jenkins, Serial, uh, Heartblood. We got Lemons and we got Mason. You guys all got gifted memberships. Be sure to say thank you. Holy crap. What is going on today? What is going... Oh, what the... There was two males here. Since when can that happen? I've never had more than one male here. Oh my gosh. Another male bear. What happened to Whitetail? We got the great one, Deuce. We got the great one. So we are hunting bears now. Because I'm going to kill both of those great ones on a video. Drastic, thank you for the $10 super chat. Much appreciated. Actually, that's a super sticker. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. I hope that we can pull this off. If we can get a bear to pop today, that'd be so crazy. Also, if we get a bear to show up, it would be the first day that I have ever got two great ones to show up in the same stream. I've never had that happen. We got two to show up in one day once, but I stopped streaming on the run that the last one spawned. And so we didn't get to see it till the next day. 
That was a crazy, crazy time. That was back when we were heavily grinding the uh, whitetail deer on Layton. When we first heard manage them. Back when we were uh, stacking them. Crazy times. Crazy times. What great one rack was it? It was a big rack. It was a big rack. Because they're always big rack. They're always big rack for me, it seems. Big rack and cluster rack, I get so many of. I can't avoid them. Was that a brown that we just got? I don't think so. Then again, I wasn't really looking. It looked like a uh, dusky to me. Seemed like a dusky. Gold badge looks pretty. Ooh, you do have the gold badge now, Johnny. Holy. That's pretty wild, Johnny. You've got to uh, the one year badge off of gifteds alone. That's pretty crazy that you have managed to get to the gold badge off of just gifted memberships. Just goes to show if you hang around the streams often enough, then you're very likely to get gifted memberships. What would I think about a great one greater kudu called the even greater kudu? <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be a funny, a funny thing for them to do. And have it spawn from like a lesser kudu. Okay, I remember we forgot to claim a couple of bears because we hit them bad. So I probably need to main menu. That way they respawn and aren't holding back our uh, respawns. Now let's go ahead and actually we should probably start at the lake that we always start at just to not throw the rhythm off. I want an adequate kudu. <laughs> Oh, Chip coming in swinging, man. Coming in swinging. Hope you're doing good, dude. Hope you're doing good. We got ourselves a Great One Whitetail. We finally got ourselves the Great One White. Well, actually, not finally. That was really fast. We got a Great One Whitetail to show up in 409 kills. Which is one of my fastest Whitetail grinds of all time, as far as I know. I'll have to check the stat sheet. But I'm pretty sure that's like top five lowest kill counts I've had for Whitetail. Nice, Kid Rick's nice. He's a great one grind till you get one. The thing is, I'm notoriously... I have notoriously bad luck for bears. So I could be killing like another four or five thousand bears before I get a great one bear to show. Which would be like more than a day of streaming. That'd be like... 48 hours of streaming and I would die. I could not survive that. But I won't grind until I get a great one bear to show. Drastic, thank you for the super chat, dude. Once again, holy, that's what I forgot to do in grinding was to go to the main menu. Really the only time, oh, that's a diamond. Really the only time you need to is if you're grinding a species, that is part of a herd. So for example, if I'm shooting something like Whitetail, I have to main menu after every run or else they're not going to come back to their zones as quickly because the herd is still spooked. But with bears, they're all solo, so I don't really have to main menu unless I forget to claim stuff and need to like uh, get the respawns going again. Oh my gosh, he's really massive. He thick. He thick. You're second in King of the Catch right now. Oh my gosh, man. That's crazy, Chip. What's the kill count now? 3,691 for the Bears. I like how we went from a couple of my most consistent and reliable grinds to my least. Whitetail and Moose have always been really good to us. These last two grinds for them were phenomenal. And then we're, for, we just for some reason, feel like we have to go hunt bears now. Just to, just to drag down the mood. 
Nah, I'm joking. I, I don't hate the bears as much as I say sometimes. They're not that bad. I just have awful luck with them. I can guarantee that if I was getting bears in like 2,000 kills or less, I'd love them. I'd absolutely love them because I wouldn't feel like I'm killing them for nothing. Because in all honesty, they're pretty reliable once you kind of learn the patterns that your bears have. I just wish I would get more bear great ones. What map am I playing on? This is Silver Ridge Peaks. What is King of the Catch this week? I think it's Brook Trout, right? Pretty sure it's Brook Trout. Come on, little berries. We have anything here? Nope. Ain't nothing here. That over here. You have a whole herd of pink pigs? No way. That's crazy. That's crazy. Have you just been leaving them in there anytime they spawn as a uh, pink pig or did you find it like that? Okay, nothing there. Back to this zone. Got two diamond fallow and two albinos yesterday. Nice, Colton. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Albinos are tough to find for them. <laughs> Try to get a bear, fallow, and redder so you have them all alive at once. <sighs> because that would... That would mean I'd have to get them all to spawn within four days. Because that's the... Actually, even less because I gotta have time to edit the video. Because like the moose and whitetail, that's for a seven day grind video. And we're on day f three or four right now. And I need like a day to edit it. So, yeah, I, I don't think I'd have time to get every species of great one on the map. Unless I got incredibly lucky with the kill counts on all three of the species that we don't currently have on one of our maps. Anything over here? I guess they're both over here. Yeah, there they are. You never know, True. I just don't think I would have enough time. And I want to get that video done, like, in time. Do you think we'll get South America or Asia first? If I were to take a guess, probably Asia, because that's the most highly requested of the two. But, to be honest, your guess is as good as mine. It could be either. It could be neither as well. You never know. It's hard to say what they'll uh, do in the future. I'd like to see both regions get a map eventually, though. He has a whole herd of pink pigs. It's a solo zone. Oh, wow. You're, why didn't I think of that? You're right. It could be. <laughs> A-Rod coming in with the, the genius thinking. That's still that little level, too. I should probably check over here as well. I know we got a four that I left over there. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum. And 338 bolt action. Both of them. Kind of back and forth.
Nothing there. Nice, Zachy. Nice. So once you got the white tail, we did, Drake. We did get the white tail. It was a big rack as well. So we got the white tail and the moose on the map at the same time. Just, I never thought we'd be able to do that. It's so crazy to think that we actually accomplished it, and pretty quickly as well. The Whitetail cooperated nicely. And we got a level six. Beautiful. What gun do I use for Whitetail? 300 and 308. I use both of those for grinding them. Did you shoot the Great One Whitetail? No, I did not. Uh, I haven't shot either of the Great Ones because I'm saving it for the seven day grind video. Uh, yes, I do have a Discord. Uh, one of the moderators or members could drop it in the chat. That'd be amazing. Thank you, A-Rod. And thank you, Chip. When did you get the Great One Whitetail? Earlier in the stream, uh, Ryder. We got it like 45 minutes into the stream or something like that. Just crazy. Freaking crazy. And so now we're blasting Bear. What do you want the next great one to be? I would love for it to be an elk. Like, that is my number one pick right now. Is an elk. I would just... I'd go crazy for an elk, man. It'd be so cool if they could do that. Got both of those, I think. We are one kill off of 3,700 kills in this grind. This bear grind has been going on for over a month at this point, easily. Easily over a month off and on. Am I using the 338 right now? Those last two shots were the 300 Magnum. Next reset calling a great one. I mean, we've never had two great ones in one stream, so... We'll see. That'd be a crazy way to get our first uh, double Great One stream, though. That'd be pretty nuts. Our bears are acting so weird, though. I don't like uh, how late they're being and how few of them are showing up. I feel like leaving that two alive is screwing things up. I feel like it really is. I think it is. I think I might have to kill that two. What animal would I like in the future? Well, I really want to see them add something like Pure David's Deer. It's a bit more of an exotic species and has a really cool look to it. The problem is, like, you're not really allowed to hunt them in real life unless it's on a game ranch. That's, like, the only scenario where they let you hunt them is, like, paying big bucks on game ranches. You know how he gets so many animals on the map? Are you talking animals in general or like uh, diamonds and rares and great ones? If you're talking animals in general, it's just knowing where they are. A lot of it just comes down to knowing the drink times for every animal, knowing what lakes they can drink at on the map, knowing how late that species typically is. All those little things. Like for bears, I know for a fact that they're going to be drinking between 20 and 0. They're going to be at pretty much every lake on Silver Ridge Peaks. And I also know that if I set the time to the beginning of their drink time, they're not going to show up for at least an hour in most of their zones. But if you set it for 22.30 or 23, they show up pretty much immediately. It's like there's a lot of little tricks and ins and outs that you learn the more you play the game that can help you get a lot more animals to show up. 
And then if we want to go even more in depth into it, I've also heard manage the map, which is essentially purposefully leaving a bunch of low level animals on the map to make high level spawn more often. So most of the lakes over here on this entire section of the map that I'm circling, most of this area is all lower levels. There's a few that are still high levels, but the majority of them are level four or below. And not only does that like act as placeholders in those zones so stuff can't spawn there, but it also makes it so we get higher levels from the ones that we are shooting. Hopefully that makes sense. At least a little bit. Tigers on Medved could be crazy. I'm assuming you're talking like, uh, what are they called? Siberian tigers? That'd be wild, man. That would be wild. That's one of those things where I don't know if they'd ever do it, but it would be really cool if they did. Hope you can get a hundred great ones. We'll get there eventually, man. We'll get there eventually. I got a feeling that whenever they release a new great one, we will likely grind a lot of them and get up to that, like, or get closer to that 100 mark. Got a level nine. Stop running, buddy. Thank you. Oh no, we didn't get a good hit. Ooh. Wipe out. We smoked him. What guns am I using? Uh, the first one that I just shot those with was the 300 Magnum. And then the gun that I pulled out at the end, in case I hadn't have shot or hadn't killed that last one, was the 338. This should be the nine right here. Oh yeah, he's a dime. Level nine diamond. Let's go. We got more tracks. Uh, what is this? What types of tracks do we have here? Is that bear? Ew, it's mountain lion. Ugh. Mountain lions around my bears? You gotta be kidding me. Do I hunt in real life? I have when I was a kid, but I, I haven't done it recently. The last time I went hunting was like probably seven years ago. Seven years ago, I was like 18 years old. That was the last time that I've been hunting. So it's been a bit, but I did used to go hunting. Never really uh, had any luck with it though. We're going to kill this too because I feel like he is messing with the spawns. I've noticed that our respawns are being a little bit slower. They're being a little bit less consistent. And I've also noticed that any time that you are killing every single bear at the lakes that you're hunting, they seem to be more consistently at their zones faster. But if you leave a couple of them, it throws everything out of whack. So I'm hoping that killing that is going to help us out a little bit. John, thank you for the super chat, man. Hey, Crow, what's good? Anything good today? Yes, we got a great one whitetail on the map. So we have the whitetail and the moose on Layton right now. All ready for the video of the uh, seven-day moose grind turned into get two great ones on the map at the same time and grind. <laughs> it's been crazy, man. Hope you're doing good, though, Sean. Another bear bites the dust, and that's why we're hunting bears as well. That's why we're hunting the bears right now. Is because we already accomplished what we wanted to with the whitetail. So now it's just a matter of getting the video recorded later today or tomorrow, probably. And then I'll be ready to upload that seven-day grind video. 
And I'm going to try and do some like really good editing with it as well. I want to make it a pretty well put together video because of how big of a moment it is it is to finally have two great ones of different species on the map. Oh, yeah, that's just crazy. What is my dream trophy? Diamond Melanistic Red Deer. That is my dream trophy. Although, now that Rusa Deer are in the game, Leucistic Diamond Rusa might be the dream trophy too. Like, that's definitely up there as well. And so is, of course, a fabled piebald whitetail would be straight up at the top if I could possibly get that. Like, holy. That'd be so crazy. Where'd these two go? Oh, there's one. What about the other? There it is. Okay, perfect. Perfect. What about a fabled Mela Whitetail? Well, there is no fabled Mela. It's just a regular Mela. Nobody's ever killed one. Obviously, if I could get that, that'd be crazy. But I kind of like the fabled Piebald better just because it's a exclusive fur that only the Great One Whitetail can get. Like, you can get Mela on a normal Whitetail. You can get Albino on a normal Whitetail. But you can only get Fabled Piebald on the Great One Whitetail. So, if I could get one Ultra Rare, I would want it to be the Fabled Piebald. And I mean, the odds of it being Fabled Piebald is more common than it being an Albino or a Mela. Because in general, Piebalds are easier to get than Melas and Albinos. So I think it'd be more likely that if we got an Ultra Rare, it'd be a Fabled Piebald. And I think I would like it the most out of them. Seven five. Can you get a regular piebald on a great one? No, you can't, sadly. That'd be cool if you could get fabled piebald, regular piebald, mela albino. That'd be sick. That would be really awesome. Guys, didn't I tell you? We killed that level two, and now my bears are suddenly being more consistent and reliable. Isn't that just crazy how leaving like one or two bears in your main zones can throw everything out of whack? Like that's just crazy. I wonder why that's a thing. Maybe because the uh, the bears have to think more about where they're going to spawn. Because there's a few spots that are already taken up by existing bears. Maybe that's how it works. It's hard to say. Oh, somebody gifted? Holy crap, did I miss it? Rastic, thank you for the five gifted again, dude. Holy crap. Holy crap. Congrats to Reaper Gaming, Nate, Charlene, DX Gaming, and Caleb. You guys all got gifted some memberships from Drastic. Be sure to say thank you if you haven't already. Holy. Well, this has been a crazy day of great ones and gifteds and super chats and bears. Lots of bears. Lots of bears. <laughs> Lots of silly little bears that aren't great ones. And one really big white tail. Yes, one very big white tail. Are there ultra rares for red deer? Sadly, no. Only white tail can have ultra rares. Which I've always found that to be a little bit weird. You know, originally when they released the Great One Moose, they had it set up to where the majority of them were common furs. And then you could get like the the fabled furs on like very rare occasions. And then Jaxi had also said in one of the EW streams that you could get albino, mela, and piebald Great One Moose. But then they pushed out an update to make it so the fabled furs were no longer rare and that they were actually guaranteed they got rid of the common fur type for great one moose and the way that they worded it i'm almost positive they removed the ability to get ultra rares for moose because the way it was worded was great one moose can now only spawn with one of their fate with one of their great one exclusive fabled furs so that makes me think that they did remove the uh, the ability to get ultra rares from the Great One Moose. And we've never seen a hacker post one, so... 
I got a feeling they don't exist. Sadly, I wish we could get an albino great one moose. Could you imagine how crazy that would be? Could you imagine seeing an albino great one moose with the big non-typical rack? Like, holy crap, that'd be crazy. Calm down, you bears. You guys are very eager to get to your zone, eh? Very, very eager. What is my dream fallow deer? The fabled mocha blade rack. And it's one that we've already got as well. How many zones do I hunt for the whitetail grinds? Uh, let me think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I hunt nine different zones on the whitetail grind. But to be honest, it's not about how many zones you're hunting. It's about how many deer you're killing per run. Like those nine zones aren't going to do me any good if I'm only kill killing one whitetail from each of them. I try to kill around like 20 whitetail per run. But I try to get 20 whitetail between those like nine zones. It's more about the number you get per run than it is the amount of zones you're using. With whitetail, if you're hitting around 20 kills per run, then that is probably going to be pretty good for you. You should be able to get them to respawn properly with that many. I've noticed if you kill less than 20 with whitetail, Sometimes they're more inconsistent with their respawns and take longer to respawn in. Don't forget to main menu. I really only need to when I reset the time for bears. With bears, you don't really need to main menu unless you have either forgot to claim some of them or if you've just reset the time, then it's good to. But other than that, you don't really need to with bears because they're all solo animals. So you're not going to have like spooked bears that aren't showing up. Okay, so we got a big boy bear there that we missed. Go down here now. Did we get the right white tail great one today? We did, Jack. We did. We got him on the map. So we have the uh, the moose and the whitetail on there right now. Which is why we're hunting bears now. What is the best place to hunt whitetail? Uh, there's a couple maps that are really good. I've had phenomenal luck with Leighton Lakes. Um, some people don't necessarily like the brushiness of Leighton though. Uh, if you don't like hunting in thick brush, then Rev on Tule Coast is probably the best. Yeah, it's between Rev on Thule and Layton for the best whitetail map. They're both really, really good. For different reasons. Have I killed a diamond yet? Yeah, we've had a few diamonds today. A lot of diamond whitetail were showing up. And then we've had two or three diamond bears. It's been a solid day. Lots of big males popping up. What the... When did you spawn in? <laughs> that was just out of nowhere. I know, Cooper. I can't believe it either. I never thought we'd ever have two species. Or two great ones of different species on the map. Like, that is just insane. It's just insane. What rack uh, for the whitetail? It's a big rack one. It's a big rack whitetail. How much does a membership cost? It is 99 cents. What's my favorite great one? Definitely the fallow deer. Fallow deer are incredible. Someone had a bear, moose, and whitetail in late night once. I think I remember seeing that, Zachy. I think I remember seeing that because it was a pretty big thing. Like Anybody that tries to get all three on the map is a madman. The amount of time and effort it would take to 
grind all three and then swap setups like oh that's a lot of dedication that is a lot of dedication what the hey stop what just happened there Excuse me? What was that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was the weirdest encounter ever. Why does that keep happening in this zone? Why is it that this zone is the one where they don't render in, then I fast travel over, and boom, they render in? Oh my gosh, dude. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Why don't bears attack like they used to? Uh, they've never really been ones to attack much, to be honest. They only attack if you sneak up on them and then they notice you. Or if they, like, walk close to you without you, uh, making any noise and then they, they notice you when they get next to you. Or if you fast travel with them, like, on the zone that you fast traveled from, they sometimes will go aggressive. Or in that scenario where we fast traveled on top of them and they rendered in, then they went aggressive. But Black Bear have never gone aggressive much. It's always been, like... Just certain scenarios that trigger them to go aggressive. To be honest, most of the bears aren't that aggressive in this game. Is the power pack good? Yes, it's pretty good. The 338 is an awesome bear rifle. The 7mm bolt action is a pretty powerful rifle as well. It's a lot of fun to use also. Uh, 308 bolt action isn't like anything too crazy. Like It's not really a meta gun. But it's a really cool looking gun and it sounds nice. And I mean, it's the same caliber as the 308 AR, so... It gets the job done as well. Ethan, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Or not super chat, the uh, membership. Thank you so much. Hope you've been having a fantastic day. And I also hope you enjoy all the uh, the perks that come with that membership. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, the scrapped uploads, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you once again. Would I recommend the 300 or the 308? Um, I mean, it depends on what you're hunting, right? How many kills did you have to get to get 52 great ones? Uh, we've actually got 54 because there's two of them alive on Leighton Lakes right now. And it took over 95,000 kills in total amongst all of our grinds. I calculated it like a week ago and it said like 95,000. And we probably killed a couple thousand more since then. At least a thousand. Yeah, we probably killed about a thousand since then. But that's over the course of three years of doing YouTube and posting daily content. So I put a lot of hours in to get those kills. It's not like it just happened overnight. We've got 6,300 hours on the game and a good portion of that is great one grinding. Why not add the great ones on the counter yet? Yeah, because we haven't killed them. I only add it once they're dead. How do you get so many great ones? A lot of time grinding. A lot of time grinding. To be honest, there's a lot of things it comes down to. One, just spending a lot of time doing it. Two, trying to be as fish efficient as you possibly can. I mean, the more kills you're getting per hour, the more kills you can get per day, which means you'll get your great ones in less days. Even though, you know, obviously it'll still be the same kill counts, but because you're getting more efficient, it'll feel like it's happening faster. 
And then last but not least, herd management does seem to have an effect on great ones, at least a little bit for some species, at the very minimum. So that can be another way that you can hopefully help get a few more of them. You're just grinding those four lakes now? No, I'm grinding five, six of them. I'm grinding six of them. These four primarily, but I get stragglers here and I get stragglers here. So I hunt those as well. So I'm hunting six different lakes right now, but two of them are not every run. They're like every two or three runs, I'll check them. And usually I'll have at least one or two of them there. What's my favorite great one combo? Like species, fur type, rack. Man, if I could only pick one, be my favorite. Uh, it would definitely be the fabled birch moose with the typical rack. That is a combination I dream of getting and hopefully one day we will get it. That is my dream combo for all great ones like is that moose would be so cool. It's part of the reason why I still go back to moose because I really want to get that fur type. To be honest, I don't even care if I get that exact combo. I just want that fur type to show up. So it's likely that we will go with the moose grind until we get ourselves a uh, fabled birch. Do I like to hunt uh, blacktail or whitetail the most? Definitely whitetail. I like the blacktail a lot because they're the primary deer that we have here in Oregon. So I'm very familiar with blacktail IRL. But uh, unfortunately, they're just not as fun to hunt as whitetail in Call of the Wild. Holy, did I miss a couple memberships? I did. Ryder, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. And thank you to Script as well for becoming a member. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now the question is, can we summon the Great One Bear? Probably not. But you know it's worth a try. We got it. We got at least attempt something since we're uh, since we've completed the white tail and moose being on the map. Fallow on Rancho. <laughs> Could you imagine if Rancho had Fallow? Hey, there's a nine. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. But considering, like, Texas has fallow deer, right? Couldn't Mexico technically have fallow deer? Because they're, like, bordering each other pretty much? I feel like there would be places in Mexico where you could hunt fallow deer. I might be wrong, but I feel like that would be a possibility, right? On exotic ranches. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, uh, I'm sure the climate would be able to, uh, I'm sure they'd be able to survive in the climate. Boom! Diamond. Love to see it. Gotcha, A-Rod. Gotcha. Okay. So, there's, I'm trying to think, 44 management units. That could either mean that there's 44 different units of land that have them, 
Or that could mean that it's like uh, game ranches. I'm assuming that means that there's 44 different units of land that have uh, fallow deer. So yeah, if, if that's the case, they technically could have put fallow deer on Rancho. I mean, it wouldn't be like, uh, it probably wouldn't fit as well as the species that, they, that they've got there now. But they probably could have done it. But to be honest, I'd prefer they do something like the, the Audad sheep. Or the coo steer before something like fallow. We need coo steer so bad on Rancho. I don't know why they didn't do coo steer. Two steer would be so incredible, man. The other thing that's funny about the fact that they didn't add coo steer is the fact that coo steer are one of the most popular hunts to go on in Mexico. Like that's one of the selling points of hunting in uh, Mexico. Like when you look up hunting in Mexico, coo steer pop up like crazy on Google. I'm still so blown away that we don't have coo steer on there. I mean, I get it. They're basically just a smaller whitetail with like very minimal differences in like body weight, shape, look, etc. But they still would have been so cool just to have a different deer species. Three and an eight. Nice. Also, we're now at 3,732 kills. Hopefully, the great one isn't too far away. Did we get the white tail great one? We did. We did get the white tail great one. He showed up in 409 kills, one of my fastest white tail grinds of all time. I'm just so happy our bad luck streak ended. We went like a full month without getting a great one. 2,500 red deer kills, killing a couple thousand bears, or actually like, probably like 1,500 bears during that time. And then like 2,100 fallow deer. Just to get from 50 to 51. And now we've had four great ones, all different species, pop up in the last like week and a half. The bad luck definitely turned around. The bad luck streak definitely ended. Now we're on a good luck streak, which is... I mean, I'll take that any day. Nothing over there. Oh, no worries, Astro. No worries, man. There we go. Uh, I do one angler stream a week, Patrick, and then anytime that there's new news or a new update, then I'll do videos on it as well. And then occasionally we toss videos up on angler if I have something to show off in a video. Am I using the eye by method or my own? Well, what do, you, what do you define as the eye by method? Curious if you're referring to herd management or just hunting the four lakes in the top. There we go. Got a floater. No, where? There he is. Okay, there he is. <laughs> I was like, where did he go? I can't see him. Uh, yeah, Gage, exactly. Hunting the four lakes at the top. Um, not entirely, no. I'm not just hunting the four lakes in the top. I'm hunting six lakes in the top. I'm hunting 
These four here that he does. I am also hunting this one because I get straggler males that go there. And I also hunt this one because I have one to two males that show up at this lake. So it's not fully the same zones that he's using, but similar for sure. Definitely similar. I used to just grind these two lakes down here and only rotate on five bears. But it took like 8,300 kills to get my first great one. So I was like, okay, that's, uh, that's definitely not working. Let's try something else. And well, come to find out, I just suck with bears. Because we're already 3,700 into it. And we're using completely different zones than before. If we want to get technical, the four lake method isn't even iBice. He just adopted it. Yeah, but the way the internet works is doesn't matter who did it first. It matters, like, who put it out there to a, a large audience. iBuy and Lady did their video on it, so majority of people are going to refer to it as the iBuy method. Just like back when iBuy was doing his, it was, like, first getting into his extreme HM on Twitch, right? Eventually, I started doing extreme HM as well. Not quite to the extent that he does, but I started doing it to a lot more extreme level than I was previously. And he had so many people in his streams calling it the Scarecrow Method, even though he was the one doing it before me. But because I was the one that was doing it on YouTube with a pretty large following that was seeing it that didn't necessarily watch Twitch streams, they didn't know that iBuy was doing it long before me. But I also didn't try to, like, claim it as my own, either. I'm pretty sure I made it, like, very clear that I was not the first person to discover herd management or anything. But yeah, it's just kind of how the internet works. Doesn't really matter who found it first. People are going to call it based on whoever really, like, showed it to a wide, a wide audience. Just like... Technically, Jaxie Beard discovered herd management. Jaxie Beard and Flinter were the people that discovered herd management, but a lot of people don't necessarily know that. Because Flinter didn't really uh, try to promote it or anything. He did a few videos on it, and then he stopped messing with it. Jaxie continued doing it for a while, but never really uh, took it to the extremes that iBuy did. iBuy took it to the next level. I buy and a couple of his buddies. Like, they really took it to the next level for HM. And then people like myself and Lady Legend adopted the method and started doing it along with a lot of other people. And then now it's to the point where it is now where quite a few people use it. Good little bears. Yeah, pretty much, Tyson. Pretty much. But, I mean, you don't have to like something to have discovered it. Where's our males? Okay, they're both over there. Good to know. Will I do a new poll later? Probably not, because I'm not going to stream for too much longer since we already got the bear and... Or not the bear, um... Since we already got the whitetail and now I've got a video to make because of that. So we probably won't go for too much longer. Have I ever killed a great one without grinding? Uh, yes. One time. This was a long time ago. It was my second great one I ever killed. Uh, it was an initial spawn on Leighton Lakes. Now, this was back when initial spawns were still a thing. Like, nowadays, the majority of people agree that they probably don't exist anymore. Just because nobody posts them. And the people that have said that they had initial spawns in the last, like, year didn't really have proof to prove that.
But yeah, I had one when I was looking for whitetail zones on Layton to make a guide. I was searching for whitetail zones on Layton. I probably had searched like 30 hours trying to find all the zones because I had a lot of people asking for an updated Layton Lakes whitetail guide. And so I was searching for all the zones for that guide. And then I stumbled upon him while going to one of the lakes in the bottom right of the map. And that was my second great one ever. What are initial spawns? So an initial spawn is an animal that is generated on your map the first time you open it. So whenever you start the game for the first time, right? Or buy a map for the first time, your game's going to generate a random population of animals. And those are your initial spawn animals. They're like the initial animals your map decides to spawn on there to start you out with. Yes, I do have a vid on that. I do. But... Where was I with, where was I going with that? I can't remember. I completely lost my uh, train of thought. Actually, we should check up here. It's been a bit. Oh well, I completely forgot where I was going with that. Uh, no, Lady didn't have a great one bear without grinding. She had killed like eight or nine hundred. I think it was like nine hundred bears. She had a red deer without grinding, I think. She had an initial spawn red deer. Her bear took like eight hundred or nine hundred kills. I remember because like all the content creators were racing to see who could get the first bear. And then one day, uh, I hopped on, and I can't remember who it was, but somebody was like, Lady got a great one, and I was like, what? No way. No way. Already? And then sure enough. Five bears here. Holy crap. This is gonna be... Okay, um... Oh, gosh. Well, we killed them all, but that one is really far away. Killing five bears at one zone is not easy. <laughs> Do I remember the uh, name of that initial spawn great one vid? I think it was like our second great one whitetail or something like that. It's one of my most viewed great one videos on the channel, so you could probably find it just by sorting by most viewed. Oh, gosh, I missed... Messed so many of them. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I messed a bunch of them up. Feels bad, man. Sean, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Just got an albino male whitetail. Watching you bring, bring some... Uh, wait. Watching you bring some luck and sending you hundreds of dollars does? <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Thank you for the super chat once again. And nice job, dude. Getting that albino. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. All right, let's main menu. Holy crap. Hey, Rod. Coming in with the super chat again. I accidentally unsubbed for a second and couldn't chat. Oh, no, dude. Oh, man. Let's be honest. It wasn't by accident. You were like, oh, why am I subbed to this guy? Why am I subbed to this scarecrow guy? Okay, he'll die. Nice. We're now 3,751 kills on the bear grind. My gosh, another super chat. Holy crap. Jackson, thank you for the super chat, dude. What is your least favorite great one for the moose? Like a uh, rack and fur combo? That would be the fabled ashen 
Um, quad Paddle Rack. Fable Dash and Quad Paddle would be my least favorite possible combo for Moose. If I ever get that combo, I'll probably be a little bit disappointed. And there's not too many great ones where I could actually say I'd be disappointed. But uh, Quad Paddle Ash and... Oh, it would just give me flashbacks to the common quad paddles that I got on Medved. <laughs> How much longer is the stream? Probably not too much longer. As now that we've got the white tail to spawn, I've got a video that I need to make. So I don't know how much longer we'll go. Probably not super long. Uh, Gage, thank you for the super chat, dude. Just got a female Melibor on Hirschfeld, and nice, man. Nice. Love to see it. Melibor, really rare, by the way. That is really tough to find, man. Really tough to find. Yeah, she does, doesn't she, Caitlin? I can't... I, I couldn't remember which ones that's... Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's been so long since the moose release that I had forgot that that was the uh, conversation that we had had. No, Ryder, I don't. Okay, thank you, Deer Slayer. Deer Slayer found the title of the uh, video that has the initial spawn Great One Whitetail in it. We got great one number two with the air rifle. And that uh that kill is also in my 50th great one special. Because that video shows off 18 of my favorite great ones that we had got on the journey from 1 to 50. Gage, thank you for the super chat again, man. Holy crap. Got it on accident doing missions. That's the best way to get some rares, man. Like... You guys saw it in the video where I was trying to get the mission diamond albino. We stumbled across a rare caribou or rare reindeer in the meantime. Like sometimes missions are great ways to stumble across rares and diamonds that you didn't even know were there. Level six, and where's the other? There it is. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Got two piebald whitetail does in back-to-back -back days. Nice, dude. Nice. Love to see it. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my hey, Yeet, how's it going, dude? All righty, guys. We're probably going to go ahead and call it there since I got to get some recording done now because of the fact we got that white tail to spawn. Stay tuned for the next seven day grind video because it is going to be a banger. I don't know if it'll be up tomorrow, the day after or the day after, but uh, stay tuned for it. It's going to be crazy. Thank you all for dropping by once again. You guys are all amazing. You're the reason I get to do what I enjoy and love. Thank you all so much.